My name is Wayne Thompson and I am director of Easiest Pie Productions. I'm here because we are looking for funding for our feature film Too Young to Die. Too Young to Die is a horror film with a little bit of a difference. It's going down your very stereotypical iconic zombie film. However, I'm looking at something slightly different and I'm looking at how children would actually cope and survive. It's something that's never really tackled in zombie films. How would they cope? I mean, we, we look at adults and, you know, adults are strong, adults are, you know, or they should be strong, they should be stronger minded. And children haven't really developed physical or um, strength yet. So, could they actually survive a, a zombie outbreak? The whole film is just to take place around the children and their trials and tribulations rather than adults. There is adults around in this, but they're not going to be exactly the helpful kind of adults. You know, zombies are an impossible enemy really and these children they have to grow quick they have to try and be something they're not and adults are not going to make it as easy as what the zombies are it's as if they've got two enemies on their hands it is going to be quite a controversial for them because we will see children die unfortunately because let's face it in a zombie apocalypse children would die however we are going to see a strong side from children as well to show that they can cope we are not just doing this for the fun of it, we're doing this because we love films, we love, we love horror films, we love any kind of film, and we just want to do an alternative take on a zombie film. For the movie like Too Young to Die, I mean, a lot of people are going to initially just think, oh, blood, guts, you know, gore. Yeah, there probably will be blood, guts and gore in this film, but it's centred around children, which is going to play against the, the raw nerve and the brain of adults hopefully I mean picture yourself as a parent and how would you feel if you was you knew that your children were left home alone with hordes of zombies I mean personally I know the first thing I want to do is get back and make sure they were okay however some adults might think different and they might think well do we just put them out of the misery now um, which you know a lot of people have mentioned that in zombie films or other ones never been shown so, but these children what we're centering in they're stronger than that, they're, they're not going to let anybody do that, they feel they've got the right to live just as much as the adults who are surviving through the uh, zombie apocalypse. There's going to be a few twists and turns in this movie and I think it's going to be quite heartfelt, it's not going to be just your horror, you, you're really going to feel for these kids, you, you, you're going to root for these kids um, and you want to see these kids survive. It's quite strong, it's quite, not so much upsetting but it, it, it's going to hit the heartstrings in places. And I think it's really going to hit home to those people who have kids of their own. What I don't want people to think is, oh, this guy's being really, really sadistic in this film. I do have kids of my own, and to be honest, this is where the ideas came from because I've got kids of my own, and you know, I've often thought, what would it be like for my kids to to be alone during this kind of event? As a parent, the first thing I'd want to do is get to my kids, make sure they are safe, and then keep them safe. Unfortunately, these kids haven't got that. My daughter is in the teasing, as you will see. Yes, she looks upset, but I can honestly say she was not harmed in this film, as will none of the other kids. They, um, it might look bad on film, but it's all just acne. When you're ready, Kyle. Guy! <laughs> Madam. She's right, though. <laughs> 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 Now. Yep. Because it's a different storyline with a very popular horror icon, zombies, they, they've, they've been popular every every year going basically and you will always get a big zombie film and I think this could be up there with them with a decent budget. However, because of where we're coming from um, and as passionate as we are, we've got a star from the bottom unfortunately. and we know for the fact we can make this very entertaining we can make this up there with the best of the zombie films but obviously we've got to just get what we can get for now and make the best of what we can with what we get what i would like to say is that i am very passionate and the whole team is very passionate about filmmaking we always have been um over the past few years we we've really went out to make some very successful shorts. When I say successful, I don't mean by making money, otherwise if we'd made the money, 
believe me, I wouldn't be here doing this now. I would be investing the money into the films myself. Um, what I mean by success is they've reached the festivals, they're, they've getting good audiences, and they've getting some good reviews. Um, on that note, I am sitting here because obviously we need the money to progress into feature films. Um, but I will, hand on heart, turn around and say that if we did have the money, this wouldn't be happening. I would be making the films and this will be my life forever, basically. So this is the only reason why I'm asking for the initial start up to help us get to where we want to be so that we can continue to entertain the world forever and ever. I would like to take this time and say thank you for at least taking the effort and time to listen to what I've had to say and what I've had to put on, on Kickstarter to try and help me get these funds. And what I will say is whether you decide to invest or not, um, I do hope that when the film is out there, whether it's on Netflix, whether it's on the shelves, and even if it does hit the theatre that, hopefully you will actually take the time in watching this and remember this video and think, yeah, these guys actually did well. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>